which turned to stone in ancient pagan rituals await the most haunted team as we travel to Somerset. And the chairs just... Fielding, and this week I've brought my team face to face with witchcraft and a place filled with phantoms from a harsh past. Welcome to Most Haunted and Wookie Hole Mill and Caves. The spectacular series of caverns, 25 of which now feature as a fantastic family tourist attraction, were formed over millions of years by what is now the River Axe, which runs out of Wookie Hole and past the mill, giving rise to the local belief that it flows from deep within the underworld. They have seen human habitation for over 50,000 years, and around 200 AD, the Greek diarist Clement of Alexandria described hearing sounds like the clashing of numerous symbols coming from the caves. And so stories regarding the paranormal have abounded ever since, the most compelling of these being the tale of the Wookiee Witch. However, the mill has its own share of supernatural apparitions, which convinced the most haunted team that an investigation of Wookie Hole and its surroundings was long overdue. In Victorian times, workers in the mill endured long hours of hard labour in dangerous conditions, and as a result, there were many deaths. It is said that many of these tortured souls still remain to haunt the place they so tragically died. The spirit of a young girl who was a victim of this time has been witnessed on many occasions roaming the ground floor and basement area of the mill, along with dark shadows and painful cries of agony. The spirit of another young girl roams the mill. She died here waiting for her mother to pick her up, and she's said to wander the place still looking for her mother. Many of the ghosts that are seen here on a regular basis are former workers trapped in their old daily routine. But the most alarming entity that refuses to leave the mill is that of an extremely psychotic and paranoid mentally disabled man who haunts the mirror maze. He's said to be very dangerous and not like people entering his space. Right next to the mill are a set of caves where people have lived and died for over 50,000 years and their spirits are said to still roam. The most famous ghost that walks this place is that of a witch. Accused of witchcraft by the local village, she was set upon by the locals where she spat curses and ran further into the caves down a passage known as Hell's Ladder. Father Bernard, an abbot from Glastonbury Abbey, blessed some water, followed her and threw it over the witch, turning her to stone. The story of the witch was substantiated in 1912, when an archaeologist exploring the caves discovered the bones of an old woman. Her bones had been broken and it appeared as if she'd been killed in an act of mob violence. While her figure can still be seen in the part of the cavern known as the witch's kitchen, her ghost is said to roam the dark, cavernous reaches of these forbidding tunnels. It is thought that her curse follows all who interrupt her. With such a history and so many places to be investigated, how will we cope tonight? We have 24 hours to find out.
What further information had historian Leslie Smith's researchers uncovered about this incredible location and its ghostly connections? Hockey Hole is an odd place. It's famous, lots of people have heard about it. It's been a visitor attraction for a very long time. A series of caves, cavern after cavern, deep pools that people have bet each other, and I'm afraid sometimes lost their lives, holding their breath for as long as they can to come to another cavern. Wookie Hole is odd. It's odd because the place itself has this fantastic history and prehistory, indeed, of people living there, and the witch and Glastonbury and all that magic. It's also got this visitor attraction with lights and baubles and catch pennies. And you know and I know that when the lights go down on a fairground, it can be one of the most sinister places you've ever been in. Did parapsychologist Dr. Kieran O'Keefe think this amazing location would give us different experiences from other similar locations we had investigated? Kieran, a really unusual location to investigate, not just one but two places. We've got the caves and the mill and both of them uh, very unusual locations and very frightening. Yes, and I think the key point is they're both very different. Mm. They have both very different looks about them, different feels, but also different phenomena and different hauntings associated with each place. The mill is a very unusual location. Um, and when I first heard about it, I thought it was going to be a working mill with the looms and, and so on. But it's got um, games, um, a, a little bit of a museum feel to it, um, there's the clowns behind us, the hall of mirrors, it's very strange isn't it? It is very strange and on previous investigations we've talked about layers and here we've obviously got some sort of layers, was there a mill here before all of this so we're reliant on what the medium can pick up but I'm a little bit concerned about how people are going to react when the lights are all off and they're walking around with clowns, you know, dummies around, and also there's a lot of reflective surfaces. So the light of the camera, the light from torches, people have to be extra vigilant that they don't misinterpret any shadows as being something paranormal. When we've investigated caves before, infrasound plays a very big part of that, doesn't it? And can confuse the issue with paranormal activity. The concern is, is not just infrasound, i.e. low frequency sound, but it's also how sound travels throughout the cave uh, system, whether you get reverberation. So, for example, if you say something just at a normal, normal voice level, it could rever reverberate down one particular corridor and then bounce back within the cave system, giving, giving, the, giving the appearance that the sound is coming from somewhere else. But I think, you know, when we do walk arounds and we do kind of the initial vigils, people will become familiar with the sounds that have perfectly natural explanations. And it's the other sounds that we're interested in. Eyewitnesses have actually reported uh, children crying in the caves. Now, in the past, when we've had acoustic phenomena, it's very much been uh, a repetition of our voices or it's been a deeper voice coming back. To hear a child crying is a very distinctive sound. And I think the team, being as professional as they are, they won't confuse that sound with an echo from one of us. What do you think to the story of the witch, the legend of the witch, and then the subsequent finding of her bones? What do you think to that? Um, I think it's great. If there hadn't been the confirmation by the archaeologists, it would just have been a story to me. But the confirmation, uh, it's evidence that she actually existed. It's not evidence that she was a witch, but it's evidence that this particular character existed. Uh, whether she's a witch or not, I don't think we'll ever know. Joined by medium and psychic artist Brian Shepherd, the Most Haunted team take our first steps into Wookie Hole. Would the ghosts and spirits from the past join our investigation in the coming hours of the night? I do feel that there, is a, there are two children here. One was crushed in some way. You can hear them. Yeah, they're here now. <laughs> <laughs> The Most Haunted team are in Somerset, investigating one of the county's most famous visitor attractions, Wookie Hole. We begin with a lit walk round. In such an incredible place, we needed to accustom ourselves to the disorientating surroundings to prepare for the undoubted shocks that our investigation will unleash over the coming hours. This 
This is a really colourful room, isn't it? Oh, it is. It's uh, well, let's face it. It's like uh, it's like a circus, like a circus. It's a big top, isn't it? It is. Yeah. Like really room, colourful. Know. What um, what are you picking? Obviously, you know. Well, was there a building here before? What are you picking up? Well, from... exactly. I mean, what we're seeing, as we just said, it's like a circus top, isn't yeah. it? A big top. I mean, it's fun, you know. But yes, what I feel is a workplace. That's what I feel. You know, a factory, um, a mill. Can you see um, what kind of work people were doing? There's much, in actual fact. If one s stops to think about it for, for a moment, you know, there are. There seems to be, as I say, a mill gr grinding okay. grain. Yeah. I would think things change somewhere in time. You, you know, getting getting closer to us, it, it ch changed to sort of papers. You know, yeah. paper making. Paper mill. Can there, you... were, there are people that, that lots of people, but young children involved in work. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, in this particular area, is there anybody? Is there any person? Children, you know, I I anything hear, haunting here? I hear, I hear the voices of children. I do feel that there's a, a, a two children here. There's, um, there's certainly a girl, a little girl. How old are the children? There's a girl of maybe ten. Right, okay. There's a boy. And did they die they, in the same, mill? It, yeah. Okay. I would think so. Yeah. Can you tell yeah, me? There was accidents. I, I would think an accident. One was crushed in some way. Another one inv um, involving machinery. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Definitely <clears throat> something like And they, ha they haunt here. They're and here they all haunt. the time. They haunt. You can hear them. Yeah. They're here now. Now, now. Here, and I felt just beyond us. Well, let's okay. go through so there can, and see if we if can we get can more. Do that, yeah. yeah. Just to know what's in here, because there is something in here, and I wondered if you could pick up on what it is. There is something in here. You, you Reported, think... isn't there? Okay, yes. reportedly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. All right. Something. Um, male. Tall. Aggressive. Likely to push out. All right. Okay. Um, a mental age of younger than he appears to be. Right. Probably a men very yeah, a very young mental age of maybe you know an eight year old, okay. but a grown man. Okay. Um, why, is, why is he here? Why do you know why? No, I don't. Frightened mm. also, but aggressive with it. Um likely to it seems di you know, dive away from us, run away from us, but threatening. Did you hear that? Then, Sorry. Did what did you hear? But threatening. Did you hear that? Sorry. But threatening. Did you hear that? Let's... Sorry. That's the second time I've heard it. That... You've heard it. There. 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 Is anybody here? There's a spirit. That's a man's voice. Could you make that noise three times for me in a row? Can you? Do you think that because we're talking about... There's nothing above us, is there? There's not another floor above us. Do you think you'd like to play with us and have fun? What the heck was that? I don't know, but... I don't know, but it sounded very close to us, didn't it? I think that was a yes, wasn't it? it? That was sinister. <laughs> Where did you think that came from? I'm checking yeah. outside yeah. this mirror. Right, well... But I can't... I mean, it's a mirror, so I don't know. Well, I can see what's going on. Okay. Why is he here, Brian? Why is he here why? in this why? particular... Uh, that, at the moment, is what I'm searching for, also. Why, why he would want to remain in here. Maybe it's part of the game, you know what I'm saying? He likes to play games. And what better place to play a game than in this hall? You know, it's trickery anyway, this hall of mirrors. Yeah. Something where you can hide very easily, it's, it seems, in a sense. He can approach us, you dive away. It seems a good place for him to be, do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's kind of and... and... Is that an agreement with that? Or do you think it's... Um, come on, do it again. What's that noise back there? Could be anything, could be lights. Could be. Come on, let's walk.
Still uncertain as to who or what had been responsible for the audible phenomena we had encountered, we decided to move the investigation out of the mill. Just come out of there and I'm... I, I, there's a hell of a draw somewhere. There's something else here. I mean, let, 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 let's face it, I know, I know exactly where we are. It's Wookiee Hole, you yeah, know, yeah. it's entertainment. I mean, all this that we see around us is, is just that. But there's... There's, some, there's a big draw, and the draw, I feel, is from somewhere else, and I believe that to be the caves themselves. Right, if I'm going to grab okay my coat. We'll all go Let's to the caves. That. Let's do that. do that. Yeah, yeah. It's amazing, isn't it? It is. It is, well. Now, Kieran, everything will be different in here, won't it, for you, i.e., all the temperatures and what's yes. going on? Well, first thing I've noticed, compared to the mill area, uh, the humidity has gone from 46% up to now 78%. Which means? With low humidity, that can cause a sensation where people think they're being touched by something. With high humidity, that cannot cause that sensation. So it means on vigils down here, if people feel as though they're being touched, we know it's not humidity, right. so it leans more towards a paranormal explanation. OK. There's lots of dripping noises as well um, coming from... Because this, this is a pool of water here. Over here, yeah. yeah. And, of course, people could possibly oh, what's that noise? And it's, it's just water dripping. Yeah. We know that. But, Brian, what are you sensing here? I don't know. What, I, what do I sense? I certainly sense... I should say a lot... A lot, a lot a lot of people, um, and also deaths here, um, most definitely. Um, and oddly enough, one that seems to me not to have been, relatively speaking, this is not that long ago. Oh, right. Um, 1940s, something Ooh, like that. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. Um, Woman and, and it weren't a man. It's a, it, I get a suggestion of someone that was down here, you know, someone had come down here, Maybe, I don't know, would it have been, what, we're in caves diving or something? Cave diving, okay, uh, yeah. Yeah. you know, with sumps and things. Yeah. Um, and it strikes me that this man, not very old, 30s, I would say, um, got into some difficulties down here and met his death in, 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 in that way. Whether it was drowning, which I suspect, I, 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 think, I think it was, but it was lack of oxygen, so, you know, it could have been drowning. How... So is, is this gentleman haunting here, or are you just picking up on the memory of something that's happened? I believe he haunts here, to, uh, to be honest, that he never got out of here. There was... There's... So he feels trapped? Yeah. Trapped within these caves, yeah. How sad. It yeah. is very sad. That's my initial reaction, and that's probably, you know, as I say, I've thrown up this thing that is not that long ago, re relatively speaking. I also sense a specific trauma, uh, an instance of violence, which I'm trying to uh, work out. It certainly did involve an, an old, pretty frail woman. OK. OK, that... that lived in these caves, but many, many, many years before the instance I've just been talking okay. about. What time period are you talking oh, about? Oh, it was... <laughs> we're probably talking about the Dark Ages. OK. Many, 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 many years All ago. Right, I'm just going to cut to the chase. Was she a witch? Do you know something? I'm going to be... Uh, I think that's what we're looking at, OK? okay. But I actually don't think she was. But people got the notion that she indeed was a witch. But I don't actually believe she was. So the whole thing here of, of, of Wookie Hole, you know, they have, they've got the whole sort of thing of saying, you know, this is where a witch was. Well, I know it, it makes a good story. I know it does, it? but it's just a story. This it is makes an eccentric old lady who came down it, here, and yeah, what happened to her? She indeed. was. Uh, well, I believe she did get on the wrong side of people. Put it that way, um, a mob got together. They set upon her and killed her. Do you know how many of them there were? Oh, a group, all men. All men. Maybe seven, eight at least. So there's no chance. I mean, easily overpowered. Did they stab her? Did they? What did the blow I to the head? I think she was bl no, bludgeoned to death. You know, okay. with sticks and clubs. Yes, okay. um, and kicked. Basically, very violently. Married death, very violently. Broken bones, broken skull. 
On returning to the mirror maze, Brian draws on his skills as a psychic artist to commit the form of an aggressive man to paper. As we switch to night vision, will these phantoms become stronger and make themselves known to us? Something's behind us, but keep moving. What do you mean? In what way? behind us. It's all right. Calm, calm, calm. Can't be out. I'm out. I'm out. No! Look! Yes! I'm going to you here. Carl, the chair's just come on the floor now. Carl, what's happened? Is anyone here? Please make a sound. No! The Most Haunted team are investigating Wookiee Hole, Caves and Mill in Somerset, home to tales of witchcraft and hauntings. Brian has already sent two powerful apparitions, the spirit of an old lady brutally killed and an aggressive man. Will their spirits join us as we begin our night vision investigations? <laughs> <laughs> So, would Brian be right? Would the mirror maze be alive with paranormal activity? Leslie and Kath join me in an attempt to provoke contact from the spirit of the aggressive man that Brian sensed here earlier. This has been an attraction for some time and it's said that this place is haunted by what the hell was that noise? Did you hear that? Yeah. And again. And again. Big rumble. It is actually very creepy because we're laughing. But it's horrible because mirrors are really horrible because it makes you feel a bit strange because it's so disorientating. The trouble is, we don't know where the hell we're going. Is it? That's a wall. <laughs> That's a wall. That's not a wall. See, I don't know if I'm seeing your reflection. I don't know what I'm seeing. Is there anybody here? Are there any spirit people here with us now? If there is the ghost, the spirit of a particularly nasty entity, then let yourself be known, please. No, what did you hear? Oh, I didn't hear that, no. What are you two squeaking? Where are you? Is that you? It's <laughs> me. It is you. That's the wall. Hey, I've, uh, I've lost you. No, I'm here. Where? There's mirrors, there. I can't here. see you. Hello. Is it, that is me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. 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 Hello, if there's anybody here, spirit person here, please make a noise. Hello. Is there a spirit here with us? What is that over I there? I don't know, I've just seen it too. Have you just seen yeah, it? Yeah, I have. It's like a face, a head in the middle. Fuck. What's that? No, wait a minute. Could be no, yes, oh, it could be No, yes, it is! Run! Over there, there was like a face, wasn't there? Yeah, I saw it. And it wasn't one of ours? Well, I don't know. It could have been reflection. Oh, shit. God, you scared me. Yeah, well, I don't. Because I know, because I'm looking at it and you're there, and then you move and you're not, you're there. Imagine being in a hall of mirrors in the dark. It's mental. Well, yeah. we are. <laughs> <laughs> that would be it then. Was that you, Kath? What? You just went, hmm. Hello. You did? No, I didn't. Did you hear that, Les? No. I just heard it. What? Like you she heard earlier? Yeah, like a, hmm. Was that you, Kath? Was that you, Kath? Is there a spirit person here with us now? In this place? Did you used to work here in this place? Was that you, Les? No, that? it bloody wasn't. Did you used to work here in this place? Was that you, Les? No, that? it bloody wasn't. Did you used to work here in this place? Was that you, Les? No, that? it bloody wasn't. No, I Did didn't you not hear? Oh my God, I didn't like that at all. I think there is something here now. 
And the reason I think there is is because the atmosphere has changed. We were laughing. Yeah. But it feels sinister suddenly. That was someone. Just tell me what. Describe that noise you just heard. I just heard like a deep sound. It wasn't a squeaky yeah. sound. And I heard a deep. <gasps> yes, that's, that's what, what I, I heard. heard. Definitely, Kev. Right. So we've all heard something. There. Yeah. Now we ought to really have a bit of a plan mm. of action here. Oh, I don't think there is one. Something's behind us, but keep moving. What do you mean? In what way? Behind us. Oh, I can't, 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 can't. There you are. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. Oh, oh, yes, oh, oh, it does. Oh, 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 the audible phenomena within the mirror maze has unsettled us, so we resolve to join Kieran and Brian in the caves. Meanwhile, Carl and Stuart begin an investigation on the ground floor of the mill. Is there anyone here, Brian? I still feel this presence of this man. Gordon or? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Gasping for breath. Right, come on, let's follow our noses. Basically, <coughs> Stuart and I have just literally come down a spiral staircase to, uh Hang on, mate, I need to sit vision. down a second. We got to the bottom of the spiral staircase, which is the other side of this door. And I'm not kidding, we heard a noise, like, like, like a, a groaning sound. And both of us, at the same time, saw two figures. Because I, I said to Stuart, I said, that's two fingers. Yeah. And they seem to come for us. Yeah. We plowed it in here. It's not going to get any more real than that, Carl. It's just a shame that we didn't have the bloody camera on record at the said time. I'm convinced. I, well. I'm going to start the vigil then. Well, what do we do? Walking down. Well, Should we go back out there? We've got Should to go, go out there, mate. We've got to do. Because. What, one half of me is saying, oh, it could be the guys working here, but there, up in the no, green room. No one upstairs. There's no one out there, is there? Well, who else can it be? Who, who on earth could it be? Is there anybody here? Let us know that you're around. Did you hear that? Talk to us. Talk to us. It wasn't me, was it? Did, Did you hear that? Did you feel it? I thought. I'm fine. I thought. I'm fine. Are you sure? Well, but hear me, I'm not breathing badly, am I? Kieran, that's why. What's the matter? Me and Kieran were just walking up here, yes. and I looked at Kieran because I thought he was looking in his pocket, I thought he was having an asthma attack. Talk to us! Talk to us! He's going, <gasps> and Kieran thought it was me. Hello? Jeez. Right, someone's f***ing about, Carl. Someone is f***ing having us. Someone's taking us for a ride, mate. I'm sorry, but... Death, death. It's like a... There we go. Okay. Right. Where did this, it come from? I, it was in this room, Carl, somewhere where I don't know, mate. Sort of that way, but... I just don't know what to think about this place anymore. I had, I had, I thought I had this place sewn up earlier on, but obviously not. What have you seen? It's not what I saw. It's just what I felt. What did you feel? Something brushed past me. I felt something that I consider brushed past me. And although I'm not, I, I could say the temperature dropped, it's my temperature that dropped, you know, and kind of presence of something very close to us. What, what, what? Is it the oven? Do you know 
know, it could be, it could be, it could be a woman, it could be a, a woman. God. Careful, what's happened? Ah, there, there. Ah, ah, ah. On the stairs. What is it? What did you see? I, I, well, at what looked like uh, a shape. Right there, it looked like a, 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 a shortest shape coming down the stairs. I thought, what the hell? It's not there now. Please do something. Touch Stuart, affect Stuart in some way, affect me in some way. Pick this table up. Move one of the chairs. Touch one of us. I just know you're here, I'm here with you. Right. That chair's just come off the table, Carl. Yeah, I was nowhere near that too. chair. Come on, do it again. I'm going to jump it back on. Just... I don't know if the camera's going to pick this up, but I am absolutely wet through now in sweat after that. So, actually, mm. you, t you, Kath, you heard a. We both, I can tell with Kieran that he's confused about that, Kieran. Yes. Were well, you? And the great thing about it is you thought it was me. I thought it was you. When you said to me, were you having an asthmatic, I thought, I immediately said, I thought it was you. I thought you were having kind of an asthma attack. Really you were bad. having difficulty catching your breath. It was, it was, That's what I thought it was. In fact, it was that, it was that loud. It was so, it was so close, was it? that wasn't yeah. an echo. So, Kieran, the noise that you heard, would you say that was paranormal? Um, I'd say I don't have an immediate explanation for it other than Acoustically, it could have been one of you two, but I don't think even either of you were out of breath when we came out of that passage. Um, I'm leaning more towards a paranormal explanation than a normal one. Come on, let's get back. Move that chair off of that table. Whatever you can, please show us you're here in any way, shape or form. No. Carl, the chair's just come on the floor now. Did you get that on camera? I've got it on camera. You're shitting me, you've got I'm, it on camera. I've got it on camera. It's on camera. I've actually caught that on camera coming off. No. Carl, the chair's just come on the floor now. Did you get that on camera? I've got it on camera. There's nothing attached to the chair, you can see there's no... Oh no, there's, no, there's, absolute, there's absolutely nothing on this chair. There's no, there's no string, there's no pulleys, because that's what, that's what's said. If I'd have had that, well, my new, we weren't expecting it to happen. No. All right, OK. How are you feeling, Stu? To be honest, I don't know how I'm feeling. Does that sound silly? No. I'm just, my head's all I'm busy at the moment now. I'm, I'm just trying to <clears throat> compute what's gone on. Wookie Hole Mill seems to be coming to life as the poltergeist and audible phenomena increase dramatically, would we experience more unexplained phenomena? Please make a sound. The most haunted investigation of Wookie Hole in Somerset is reaching a spine-chilling climax as Roger, our sound man, Kath, Kieran, Brian and I join together within the confines of the mill. Us. 
Tell us your name. Make the water ripple. We're here in the water. Edward, Edward, just come to the thing. Edward, if it is you and you died here for an accident, come on. Make yourself known to us. His presence is so strong in a way, you, you know. Edward, we're going to leave now. Did you say fine? Sorry? No. Fine? No, I didn't say anything. You didn't say anything? No. Did you just hear somebody say fine? Fine. What? You didn't it, say anything? No, is it? No, just say no. Did someone say something? As if they did. No, I didn't say anything. Happy for us to go then? Oh. Just come down the circles. Yeah. The way out up the Let's stairs. Let's go back then. I've just thought of something. Do you look at the temperature here? Does it just drop a lot down there? Yeah, it has dropped. <laughs> Let me see what's that. <sighs> what the hell is that? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <sighs> <sighs> leave. There's something down here, wasn't there? Something on the other side of that door. That was loud. <sighs> that was unexpected. That was loud. That was loud and unexpected. The team have had our courage tested to the limit within the mill, but Carl determines that there is more to learn and decides to test his resolve to its extreme by braving the location on his own. I went down to the uh, basement on my own. The um, guys have just come back, Yvette, uh, Kieran, um, uh, Brian, Roger and Kath and well, basically everyone who's not me and Stuart have come up from here and they, I don't think they were very uh, they weren't very happy about what happened, maybe some things were thrown. I've got to say I'm not sort of too happy about being down there, I tell you the truth. <laughs> oh <laughs> what was that? That was in here. What was that? What was that? Hello? Hello? I heard a, a noise, but I don't know if it's machinery because this is my first time down here. Completely. Is anyone down here? If you are, make a sound. <laughs> what was that? Oh, bollocks. Yeah, right, I'm going down there. I suppose I should do. I don't like this at all. Hello? If you're here, I'm not leaving. I will not be scared from this, from this vigil. Oh, Hello? Hello? Something making a noise down there. Hello? Look at me. How brave am I walking towards the noise? Hello? I can't see anything on this floor. Is anyone here? I can't see anything. Oh shit, what's been? Oh. Hello? What's there? Okay, machinery. I'm sure this is where this noise was coming from then. Is anyone here? Please make a sound. <coughs> Very nasty in there. That scared the crap out of me. Whatever it is. 
I'm not going down there again. We stayed investigating this strange location until the sun rose. It did seem strange that the more tired we became, less activity occurred. So eventually we downed tools and left Wookie Hole and Mill puzzled by the night's events. But how did Dr. Kieran O'Keefe feel the investigation had gone? Most Haunted's investigation at Wookie Hole actually came up with a lot of very interesting phenomena. On one particular vigil, the three females of the group, Yvette, Leslie, and Kath, investigated the mirror maze. What the hell was that noise? Now, there was a whole plethora of activity reported by them, including auditory phenomena, and even, at some point, reporting as though they had seen something. Let's bear in mind, though, that they were in the mirror maze. So there's a possible natural explanation for anything that they saw. What is that over I there? I don't know, I've just seen it too. Have you just seen yeah, it? Yeah, I have. It's like a face, a head in the... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, yes! Go on, run! We're all familiar with the corner of the eye phenomena that I talk about occasionally to do with visual perception and that sort of thing. But these three ladies were in the mirror maze, so that effect would have been exacerbated. Over there, there was like a face, wasn't there? Yeah. At one point, Carl and Stuart appeared to capture a chair falling off the table. No. Carl, the chair's just come on the floor now. Now, I have no logical explanation for it in terms of the fact that there doesn't seem to be anybody within touching distance of that particular chair. You're shitting me. You've got I'm, it on camera. I've got it on camera. It's on camera. I've actually caught that on camera coming off. For me, the most significant part of the investigation actually happened to Kath and myself. Watch your head. Kath and myself were walking through a part of the cave that had a very, very low ceiling. When we exited this part, Kath turned to me and said, were you just about to? And she didn't get a chance to finish her sentence because I asked her if she had been breathing very heavily. In fact, Kath was asking me if I was asthmatic and I was about to reach for my inhaler. Me and Kieran were just walking up here and I looked at Kieran because I thought he was looking in his pocket. I thought he was having an asthma attack. What had happened was that we had both heard some heavy breathing from right in between us, as though somebody was trying to catch their breath. Talk to us! Now, there is a possible natural explanation for this to do with the cavern resonance and some sort of acoustic phenomena associated with it. However, it just shows the intensity of a haunting experience when you look at my reaction and Kath's reaction. He's going, <gasps> and Kieran thought it was me. Overall, most haunted investigation of Wookiee Hole actually came up with a lot of very significant personal experiences for particular members of the crew. And we're talking about a whole variety here. Auditory, objects moving, and perhaps even, at one stage, visual phenomena. All in all, though, it is possible to find an alternative explanation for everything that happened. And so for that reason, I do remain skeptical, but impressed. Wookie Hole had delivered its spirits and apparitions to us in as frightening a manner as any other encounters we had experienced. But had we once again proved that something exists beyond the veil that separates this world from the next? It's up to you to decide. Until next time, sleep tight.